My friends are my power. whatever we want. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Cameron. And today, well, for the month of June, I'm going to do the, or we're going to do the same thing that uh, we did last year and just do like a Reddit month for June because I found out very quickly last year that it's hard to do a whole pride theme month because it's like, okay, you talked about one thing and then it's like, okay, what do you talk, what else do you talk about without repeating yourself? So, we're going to go with Reddit this month, but we will do a special, you know, Pride-themed episode at some point this month, because, hey, it's Pride Month, and, you know, you got to do it for the gays and the days. I do it for the girls and the gays, that's it. So, today, we are starting with a classic, a, you know, a really good Reddit to go through, and everyone's favorite Reddit. Today, we are going through r slash am I the asshole. But before we and get... Can I just say, as a blanket statement, the majority of the time, if you have to ask, yes. So that's what we're going to do today. But before we get into that, new episodes of this podcast, come out every Saturday. I I don't know why I have to keep telling you. Get the earwax out of your ear. Maybe you'll listen better. <laughs> <laughs> but with that, let's take a trip through r slash am I the asshole? Did any of these, do you know offhand, did any of these get repost, reposted to Am I the Devil? Oh, I don't even look at Am I the Devil. I'm just looking strictly on Am I the Asshole. Oh, okay. So, our first story comes to us from Leading Rock 418. Am I the Asshole for punishing my family by no longer doing birthdays, holidays, vacations because my dad screwed me and my wife over? When my wife and I were talking about getting married, my dad said that he would give us a down payment for a home. We were thrilled and kept that in mind. We would be able to afford a good starter home with his help, and we stimped and saved to add to it. Except apparently he meant a sum of money good for a down payment for a house near us, where the cost of living is low. He did not ever mean a down payment for a home in Colorado, where my wife and I have lived since we were in college. He said he thought I would be smart enough to realize that we need to move somewhere with a lower cost of living than Colorado. He keeps saying, move to a cheaper city. Our lives are here. Our friends, our jobs, our hobbies. You can't exactly leave your house and be up on top of a 14,000 foot peak in six hours where my family is. I told him that we had never talked about moving back there, and we never would, that we would rather be stuck renting for a while longer than be stuck somewhere we didn't want to be, and that the move to a cheaper city wouldn't work for us. He said, so be it, and gave us the amount, and that was that. I expressed gratitude and thanked him for the money. It is still it is still towards the goal. Well, because of the shift in our finances, we have had to make a lot of changes to save up the rest of the money. We've had to cut out vacations, birthday gifts, holidays, etc. We won't be traveling home for a few for a few years. At our current rate, we should have we should have an okay down payment by the end of next year, 2025. My dad confronted us about this because we won't come for a summer break trip and told me that I was being selfish and uh, being a selfish entitled brat because I hadn't gone my way, that I was essentially punishing the rest of the family because we assumed what his what his gift would be. I told him that I was grateful for the amount he gave us, but it means we do need to buckle down and save every penny if we want to be able to afford a house anytime soon. Even townhouses around us are easily over 400k, and that's for the sketchy ones. But is my dad right? Am I the asshole? Now, OP puts an edit here. They put edit to add FAQ, you know, frequently asked questions. Sure. There was no amount formally discussed. He said a down payment, and that was that. 
For my siblings, he paid for college. He paid cash in full for my sister's house. It was $317,000. He did not pay for my college. They are invited to come here anytime, but believe believe it should be me to go me to go there because I am the one who moved. No, we do not eat go out to eat avocado toast, Starbucks tables, etc., etc. So the verdict on this is asshole. What? Yeah. The verdict on on this is asshole. Absolutely. Okay. No. Here. Here. Okay. So here's the thing. OP didn't say it, but I'm willing to bet they're the oldest child. First of all. Second of all, you expressed gratitude for the money. You were very clear that we never discussed moving home. We're staying where we are. Our jobs are here. Our friends are here. Our life is here, etc. I totally respect that. Second of all, your dad should not just fucking assume that you're going to be, quote, smart enough to move back up. Like, fuck you, dude. First of and Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Yeah, no, continue your point. I just, so, I, was, I was looking through the comments to see why people are, the overall rating is asshole. Here's the thing. We told your parents last year, a year and a half ago. I don't remember, but we said, listen, we're not doing birthday gifts or Christmas gifts or whatever because we're trying to save for a house and, like, adoption fees and all that. Like, we're saving our money for stuff. Not one time did anybody call us an asshole for that. You're not an asshole because you're being fiscally or financially responsible. And also, it's a fucking two-way street. Your family could come visit you, too. I don't know if this will change your mind, but I found this in the comments. You're the asshole for framing it as your dad strewing you over. He offered you a down payment for a home. You assumed it would be a certain amount. It wasn't, but he still gave you a generous gift. And now you describe that generous gift as strewing you over. Also, while you're under no obligation to go on family trips, to cut out any visits to them for a few years after your dad gave you this generous gift because it wasn't as much as you were expecting, sends a message whether you mean it or not. Or whether you mean it to or not. I think that's why I'm more willing to say everyone sucks here. No, I disagree with that. I mean, that's that's just my thought, because, well, yeah, the dad's kind of an asshole for assuming, you know, his son and the, the family's just going to move closer. Here's the thing, no. But I, also, like the, do, like, the dad still gave you money for a house, so that's still something. Right, but here's why, here's why I disagree. Because... I disagree with that statement because they live in Colorado. Mm -hmm. That is where they live currently. If your parents, if we lived out of state and your dad was like, hey, I'm going to give you a sum of money for a down payment on a house, I would assume he meant where we currently live. In that case, everyone sucks because there was a clear lack of communication, but they never expressed that they were moving back. I don't necessarily agree with the fact that it's, quote, screwing them over. It sounds like... But it like, did change their plans a little bit, and they adjusted for that, and I think that's fine. It sounds like Opie's dad wanted him to move outside of Colorado. Well, then that should have been addressed. Or he should have said, I'll give you enough for a down payment around for a home around here, and then they could have left it up to, you know, whatever. But the fact that he paid for the sister's house and paid for the other siblings to go to college but didn't pay for OP... I'm willing to bet OP's an old, uh, the oldest child. Probably. I've put my life on it, as a matter of fact, because that is eldest child behavior if I have ever fucking heard. I don't know. I think we're going to stand by everyone's such here, because mainly because with this whole thing, like it sounds like this is something that just needs to be talked out instead of like, there's it just seems like there's like unneeded animosity here on both sides. Like, just sit down and have a conversation, especially if it's, like, financial. Anytime finances are being discussed, it needs to be, you know, you know, you sit down and hash it out, however long it takes. Well, and see, and that's the family that I grew up in, is that we were always very, even now to this day, I'm fucking almost 30 years old, and I'll still go to my parents and be like, help, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Help. <laughs> Taxes? What are those? But no, but like they always like even now they're willing to help because we're op because we have that open dialogue. 
because well, they yeah, have access to our bank account and they can see, you know. Because we're not afraid to be like, hey, you know, we're not doing so hot right now. Well, and especially now that I'm in between jobs, like my parents have made it clear, like if you need help, let us know you're in between jobs, like your situation kind of sucks. We get it. We're willing to help out. But um, I guess for this story, you said you disagree with the asshole rating. Yeah, I don't think he's an asshole. I'm just I'm just gonna say everyone. I'm gonna say everyone sucks here because, like I said, this just feels like there's a lot of unneeded animosity that needs to be sorted out. All right, next story. This comes from one page five two one six. Am I the asshole for asking our babysitter to set alarms when she sleeps? My wife and I, 34, have three children ages 7, 4, and a 9-month-old. I work a demanding job in the medical field and work many, many hours. My wife, not so much, but she does have night shifts often. We just got a new babysitter a few months ago after our one... night shift sucks. (laughs) We just got a new babysitter a few months ago after our one we had for two years moved for college. Our new babysitter is only 16. But she had been babysitting one of my coworkers' children for a while, and I trust him. Thank you for smacking the mic with your sewing needle. You're so welcome. It's a little ASMR for you. <laughs> a few nights ago, and it's my a knitting w- needle. Put some respect I on my literally name. like was just reading this. I just heard. Doom. A few nights ago, my wife and I were both working nights, and I saw on the camera that her babysitter was asleep on the couch, and the baby had woken up and was crying for almost thirty minutes while she slept. That bothered me, so without talking to my wife, when I got home in the morning, I told my babysitter maybe she should set alarms throughout the night to make sure she's awake since the baby monitor didn't wake her, and that it was not okay for her to leave the baby crying like that. I guess it hurt the kid's feelings because she mentioned it to my wife, and my wife is really upset with me because she's only 16, and what I was asking is unreasonable, and that this has never happened before, so again, I'm being unreasonable, and that I should have talked to her first because this could have been a learning experience. She also said I was completely out of line as well. I'm really not worried about a learning experience, but I but am worried about the fact if my children are cared for properly. Am I the asshole? I'm going to stick with yes. 100%. Because, well, first of all, uh, did you tell this 16-year-old that there's a camera in their home? Or that there's a camera in your home? And well, also... not only that, but, like, babies need to self-soothe, self-soothe. And, like, that's the other thing, too. You're putting a 16-year-old who's probably, you know, well into high school, depending on where you are, that's probably, you know, they're probably under a lot of stress with all that stuff and you put them in charge of three children one of which is an infant overnight that's a lot to ask for a 16 year old that's a lot to ask for a 16 year old and second of all again babies have to learn to self self soothe so the fact that your baby was crying for a half hour doesn't seem that big of a deal to me well, yeah, it said, I mean, the, ba- it it said like, the baby was crying for like 30 minutes. If it was like a two hour, an hour or more, then I would be like, okay, that's a little bit excessive. But like. But even then, it's like if you're that worried and you want somebody to wake up when like, uh, you know, baby is losing his mind, losing his mind or something. Don't hire a 16 year old. Hire somebody, you right. know, a grown adult who is. With a background in child care. Yeah, with a background in child care. Don't, you know, don't put all this stress on a 16-year-old girl. Or Right. Did they say did they say it was a girl? I'm not even really sure. Uh, yeah, she. So, yeah, the 16-year-old girl. You're putting all this stress on her. It was unnecessary also, stress. don't come at her sideways without talking to your partner first. Right? And th- that's the other thing that bothers me. OP said that they didn't even talk to their wife. They just went ahead and did this like how many times before i quit my job how many times did i come home and i was like before i fly off the handle am i overreacting right and talk to you about a situation and nine times out of ten you're like no you're probably overreacting yeah like even when you even when you left your job which you know again good for you 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 know we talked about it first and you're just like should i do this and we were just like yeah well to be fair when i did quit my job it was not my intention to quit until after i had walked in but we had discussed but we had talked about our options the night before so it's not like 
it's not like I blindsided you with coming home and being like, hey, I quit my job. You know, like, oh, now you got nothing to say, Bean? Oh, yeah. Now you got nothing to say when I put you up to the mic, huh? <sighs> but, yeah, I guess overall, OP is definitely For sure the asshole. The asshole. Here. For sure the asshole. Also, good for your wife for fucking putting you in your fucking place. Yeah, exactly. Dumbass. See, I pick you up. You don't say anything. I put you down. You scream your head off. Fucking cat. Are you all enjoying this? Is this what you came here for? Cat <laughs> asthma? Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I, let it, I like how a lot of these that I've looked up so far have an overall rating of asshole. <laughs> uh, this next one is from... You are, Front- in fact, the asshole. This next one is from FrontSock4413. Would I be the asshole if I insist she needs to tell her age when we meet new people? <laughs> Any initial thoughts? Because I saw your face just scrunch up. The fuck? Shall we get into the story? This my, is going to give me an aneurysm. <laughs> my wife and I met 20 years ago when we were 22 and 25 respectively. Back then, we looked the same age. But now at 45, I look like I'm in my mid-50s, while at 42, my wife looks like she's in her late 20s. We have lived in the same neighborhood since we got married, but we recently had to move and change our kids' stool. So nothing prepared me for how incredibly awkward it would be to enroll our kids in a new stool and get to know new neighbors when I look like I'm in my 50s, my wife looks like she's in her 20s, and our kids are both teenagers. It's one thing for people to assume I have a controversially young wife when it's just the two of us. I couldn't hear less. But it's another when I have to introduce our children because they think my wife is around 28. It would make me seem like a creep who got an underage girl pregnant. I asked my wife if she could start mentioning her age when we introduce ourselves, but she said I'm being ridiculous and that it would be incredibly awkward for her to do so. I don't think it's ridiculous. I don't think it's ridiculous to want to avoid being labeled a creep. Would I be the asshole if I insist after she said no? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Here's the thing. She doesn't have to justify her age. Why do you fucking care, first right? of all? That's the thing. She doesn't have to justify her age to I anybody. Kind of, I kind of understand the not wanting to come off as a creep, but like you, if you also look 10 years older than you are, then who, who cares? And that's the thing, too. Like I mean, it, how awkward would it be for her to be like, hi, my name is Melissa. I'm 48 years old. Like... That's fucking weird. Don't make her do that. Don't live your life as a Tinder profile. I don't look like I'm about to be 30. That is true. Like, I'm not going to walk up to people and be like, hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm 30 years old. Hi, Caitlin. 30 years old. Like, no. (laughs) Cameron, 31. Arizona State. I still get carded for God's sake. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. Who cares? I don't. Well, you got a full ass beard and you're six foot two. I'm six foot two with a full beard. I look. Nobody's going to mistake you for somebody under the age of 21. <laughs> right. But especially uh, with when I'm with my sister, because we look so much alike, and she looks... She looks yet till two. I do want to highlight this comment from uh, Dry Parfait. That what a says, great username, by the way. Dry Parfait. <laughs> right. You're the asshole. So what if people judge? Take it as a, I have a hot wife and they're jealous, and move on. Facts! Also, unless you're like five years old, it's awkward to just throw your age out in introductions. Women hate that stuff. It's like a cardinal rule to never ask a woman's age, let alone just throw it out there in conversation. Don't ask her age or her weight or if she's pregnant. Never, ever ask a woman if she's pregnant. Unless, you know, you feel like dying that day. I mean, if it's... Like, you ask the wrong woman if they're pregnant when they're not, you're going to get stabbed. Yeah, because how awkward is that to just be like, like, if somebody came up to me and was like, oh, how far along are you? And then now I have to be like, no, I'm actually just fat. Like, <laughs> no, nah, I'm not pregnant. I'm just fat. Like, I don't know. Now nobody's happy. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, just don't right. fucking ask. Like, <gasps> like, literally, that's the thing. Like, why does it matter, like, what her age is? She, if anything, she should be proud of the fact that people think she's way younger than she is. I mean, look at it like my parents. Like, my parents are in their 50s, and they look really, well, they look pretty young for their age, I would say. Yeah, I mean, both, my, my parents are young. I mean, my dad just, both of my parents are 50. Mm-hmm. 
But your parents, your mom especially, looks a good my, my mom's 15 about to be, years younger than she my is. My mom's about to be 60, and she, she looks like look she's in She doesn't look a day over 40s. 45. <laughs> I mean, she, your mom looks, yeah, so does your dad, actually. Yeah, they're both pretty young. Yeah, and they're both in pretty good shape, too, actually. Mm-hmm. We come from some good genes. Mm-hmm. So, uh, verdict, yes, asshole. 100% asshole. Next story is from No Pe- Pendolin. No Pendolin. However you say that. Anyway. I don't know why, but I really wanted that username to be No Pants. No, I wanted it to be No Panda. Or No Penguin. Am I the asshole for telling my skinny friend that she's obese? Yes. Now, why are we body shaming? Now, the verdict is everyone sucks. Oh, my God. Hi. Me and my friend are both 17 female, by the way. Oh, for fuck's sake. So that's how you know it's going to start off good. It's a 17-year-old girl. My asshole's itchy. So should I read this like a teenage girl? Can I read it? Uh, I already. <clears throat> Knock yourself out. I'm sorry, I just read the first line. The, me and my friend are 17. <clears throat> Hi, me and my friend are both 17 female, by the way. I'm obese, nearly morbidly obese, according to the internet. I don't really care about that stuff because I think self-love is more important and I'm happy with my weight, but it's kind of an important part. My friend Maria is average, if not quite skinny. She's made fun of my weight before, but she always says it as a joke. She constantly asks everyone in her friend group if she's fat. I understand being insecure, but it's genuinely really... But it's genuinely really... What the fuck? Okay. I can't do the voice and read this at the same time. <laughs> she con- she constantly asks everyone in her friend group if she's fat. I understand being insecure, but it's genuinely really excess and it's weekly while we're eating lunch at this point. She never eats her lunch and always throws it away, then points to mine and tells me that I'm eating so much that even half of that would fill her up. She's said this every day for the past three or four months. I don't think she's on a diet or anything either, so she just makes weird comments like that a lot. Today, she asked to try on my jacket because she was cold. I thought she was actually cold, but after she said, oh my god, this is so huge on me, does it actually fit you? Obviously, I'm paraphrasing, and I don't remember exactly, but my other friend started to laugh. I told her that she, I told her that she does look fat. And she looks fatter than me and that my jacket fits her really well. She got quiet and changed the subject, but tonight she messaged me and asked why I would say that. Oh, my fucking... Okay. <laughs> oh, I just got so mad. Um, and asked me why I would say that when she, when I know she's insecure. I told her that I'm tired of her being... I'm tired of her fishing for compliments and being rude to me just because of my weight. She said that I'm just jealous of her and that she left me on scene on red I'm guessing um I asked my parents for advice but they agree with her and think I was very rude but I don't know how else I would have made it stop okay so here's the thing yes I agree kind of everyone sucks in this situation but at the same time being the fat friend in my childhood she totally fucking deserved that shit I think that's what I saw a lot you of the You cannot constantly to say too. make fun of somebody and comment on somebody's body and then get mad when they throw it back at you. Exactly. I mean, to be honest, they both kind of sound insufferable. I mean, to be honest. they're 17 year old girls. They are insufferable. Let's uh, just call it spade a spade. Uh, this top comment was like, everyone sucks here. And why would you, why would you consider her your friend? Obviously, she's a giant asshole towards you. And it's also nearly as obvious that she has some kind of eating disorder and you just went and poked that sore spot. And I think that's my whole thing, too. Like, obviously, she kind of she kind of had this coming. Like, it's the reality check she needed, but it could have been done a lot better. Like, I, I, I agree. This girl needed a reality check and just 100%. be like, hey, knock off the, sh- you know, knock do off I the shit, with, knock off the fishing. But Do I agree with the reaction of bullying to be bullying no have i been in that position before a hundred percent like i think it, it is obvious that this friend is like insecure or well, whatever but I, to I play into that and i to understand being insecure demon, you know? i understand being insecure believe me i do i am very insecure in my own right 
but I also don't project that onto the world. You know, like I'm just quietly insecure. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, yeah, she may have an eating disorder, but that's something that she is going, and I'm I'm not trying to sound like an asshole. I'm not trying to get canceled, but if that's truly what's going on, she needs to talk to somebody about that. Absolutely. Like she, those, those are so damaging mentally and physically you need to get help. But if she's just a regular 17 year old girl and she's just fishing for compliments for whatever reason, like, fuck you. Also, it's so, I can't even explain, explain how infuriating it is to have a friend that you perceive as perfect and to have them just constantly bash themselves. I had a friend like that in high school and I was like you have D boobs and a fucking two inch waist like fuck off Mm -hmm. I mean she was I mean she was gorgeous she was smart and I'm not saying that looks are everything but she was smart and she was pretty she was athletically built but she was very thin like she was very slender and she just had this like perfect hourglass shape and she was just constantly like oh I hate the way my body looks in this I hate the way my top fits I hate the blah 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 and I'm like bro shut the fuck up <laughs> like you're actually perfect and it's pissing me off and a lot of that too to be like body dysmorphia like even though they're you know they're fit or whatever they might not actually see themselves as that well right and that's why I never told her that she was fat or did anything I just after a while I just stopped Cause, cause when it started, I'd be like, no, 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 you're so pretty, and you know, blah, 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 and that. But after a while, I was just like, I mean, you're entitled to your opinion. Like with OP here, like I'm very unwilling to believe that this person is fishing for compliments, because I mean, oh it's, no, it's it totally from, sounds it's like she is. It's from the voice of a 17 year old girl. Yeah, but that's having been a 17 year old girl. I feel like I'm the expert on this. In this case, uh, how do you know I wasn't a 17 year old girl? I'm pretty sure. You don't know that. Um, Also. (laughs) Anyway. That is 17 year old girl behavior is just to constantly put yourself down so other people will tell you that you're pretty. Yeah. Like, I guess I don't agree with the friend being like, like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm so fat. Ha ha ha. When obviously they're not. But I also don't agree with like the being the thing being like, like, yeah, you are fat. And I think if she was like bottom line, I think let's just stop body shaming people. Like, the thing is, if OP was just like, it was like, yeah, but she doubled down on it and said, you're fatter than me. Like, like if you're going to, like, it almost seems like OP wanted to stab the friend and then twisted the knife a little. I mean, yeah, I don't agree with that, but I've certainly felt that. Mm-hmm. Like, and this, like, I have my own insecurities too like i totally get the whole insecurity thing like i'm insecure about smell oh yeah and i'm I like, have, that's why i constantly i constantly smell good because i hate for the moment when i don't yeah and i have and i don't know if it's i don't know if it's body dysmorphia necessarily but i definitely see myself differently yeah than other people perceive me mm-hmm but, but what helped me is that, well, first of all, I'm, I've am i actually actively started taking care of my body and, like, doing things to change. But the other thing that really helped me from a mental standpoint is to be like, I can wear the clothes that I want to wear because everybody looking at me can fucking see that I'm fat. So I don't have to try to hide that. Exactly. Like, people have eyes and they're going to see it. So would I rather wear shorts and a tank top and be comfortable or would I rather wear leggings and a sweatshirt and hide and then be fucking hot because it's 85 million degrees out here right like I don't care if I'm hot it is 80 degrees out here I don't care if it makes you uncomfortable it is hot and I want to show as you know much skin as possible to make me not hot right so, I mean, yeah, I guess the verdict... But yes, everyone sucks. The verdict on that, yeah, I'm going to say everyone sucks. You're you're 17 years old. It's time to grow up. Right. Last story comes to us from Possible Soil. Am I, I the asshole? Username. Am I the asshole for spending my son's university fund on a trip to Europe to drink beer like I always threatened instead of giving it to a stepbrother after he passed away? My son was smart. 
Smarter than me. I almost requested a paternity test because he was so damn intelligent. That is a joke. Opie put in all caps. My ex and I divorced when he was about 12. She remarried when he was 14. I did when he was 16. I had an RESP set up for him. What is an RESP? Hold on, let me look it up. <laughs> Registered Education Savings Plan. Oh, so it's a Canadian thing. Oh, yeah. Tizopi literally goes on to say it's an education fund in Canada. Yeah. Education. Registered Education Savings Plan. As long as he went for post-secondary education, he could use the money for anything. I always told him that I was okay with him not going to university. That way I could use the money I'd saved up for him to go to Belgium and buy some beer for months that only allow you to buy one case. <laughs> I knew I was jo- he knew I was joking and he always played along. He wouldn't let me get his goat. When he got accepted to McGill, it was the proudest moment of my life. I took him out for a beer to celebrate his achievement and mourn the loss of my trip to Europe. My son was struck and killed by a drunk driver in March. I'm dealing with it. My ex is dealing with it. My wife has been nothing but my rock in this. She is holding me up. I was dealing with the funeral arrangements and everything when my ex came to talk to me about his money. Wow, this took a dark turn. She well, kind of figured that it would after he said. Well, yeah, after he said was. Mm-hmm. Uh, where was I? She knew. I was dealing with the funeral arrangements and every and everything when my ex came to talk about talk to me about his money. She knew he had a scholarship and was just going to use the money for living expenses and an emergency fund. She asked me what I was going to do with it. I said I was going to do what I always said I would. I was going to Europe to drink beer. She asked if she could have it for her stepson. I thought about it and said no. Her husband is a decent enough person, but he made it clear he wasn't responsible for any expenses for my son. Beyond food and shelter and stuff, obviously. Like I said, he is decent. I said I was not going to do that. I was going to go drink beer in my son's honor. She says I'm wasting thousands of dollars, and I guess I am. I have to give back the government portion of the fund, but I don't care. My ex thinks I'm being stupid and irresponsible, wasting my son's money like this. I don't care. My son would laugh his ass off if he knew I actually did it. <laughs> so I definitely don't think you're the asshole. I mean... Here's the thing. It's definitely what your son would have wanted. Like, I, I would definitely see him from, like, beyond the grave being like, Hey, you know, I can't use this money. Go do what you always dreamed of. Here's the thing. And this might be dark and this might come off as callous, but this is, I mean, this is the reality of the situation. That money was for your son. Your son can no longer use it. Therefore, it goes back to being your money because you put it in the fund in the first place, right? So your ex-wife has, you don't owe her or her steps on anything, especially since, as OP said, aside from the bare minimum basics... He was not responsible for Yeah, her, her new husband is, is not responsible for his son. Yeah, he's like, I'll feed him and house him, but it sounds like that's pretty much it. So, no, you're not the asshole. Yeah, she said, also the ex that, your the, ex-wife Opie is said being ex, an entitled you know, fucking stepson, bitch. so it's the ex's new husband's son. Right. So literally, her otherwise known as, nothing to fucking do with you. Right. So, I definitely agree. It's your money. You know, do whatever. It's it's my money and I need it now. Right. Like, you're paying back the government JG portion of it. What worth 877 cash now? Sorry, continue. Okay. So, you're, pay- <laughs> you're paying back the government portion, but the rest of it is yours to do what you will with. And I think it's fucking awesome that you're going to do the thing you always threaten to do. And it sounds like OP did do the thing to do because nine days ago... There's an update. Oh, we got an update? We got an update. I love an update. Update. Let me start that again. Update on spending my son's university fund on a trip to Europe to drink beer with months. Hi, everyone. We are on our way to the airport and on our way to Barcelona. We will be going... We will be going to be... Let me start that again. We are going to be in Europe for a month. The visit to the months at West Vleteren will be the last part of our trip. Two reasons. 
I don't want to load beer bottles all over Spain, France, Belgium, and Holland. Fair. Also, I'm putting it off for as long as I can. For those of you that asked, my son's name is Ryan. He was an amazing kid. I don't know if he doubt his love of the microscopic world f- from me. I did teach him how to make his own sourdough starter, and I will be keeping his alive to make loaves and waffles with. Oh, Aww. so it's like a bread thing, so he's using his son's thing to continue to make bread. Stop, that's so cute, I'm gonna cry. His ashes are in our yard, on Mount Tremblant, on the shores of the St. Lawrence, and I will be taking some to Belgium. My, my grandfather, I imagine he's starting to tear up a little... My grandfathers have many friends buried there, and I think they would approve. I thank everyone that offered to buy me a beer, and while I appreciate the offer, I'm pretty sure my liver and my wife would not have been happy with me. <laughs> I will be with the months on the week of June 23rd. If you would like to join me in a toast with your favorite drink of choice, I would love that more. I love knowing that people all around the world know about my son, and he would love knowing he was toasted in such a manner. I spoke with my wife, my ex-wife, her husband, and his son. I invited them to join us at my expense for the last week of my trip. My wife's stepson was friends with my son. I didn't know how close we how, I, didn't, I didn't know how close until he we spoke. They're gaming buddies. They spoke almost every day playing online. He gave me a picture of my son I did not have. It is a picture of the two of them aged about fourteen, fifteen at my ex wife's wedding to his father. My son looked great in the suit. I cried. God damn it. Ah. Who the hell's cutting onions in here? Kate, did you cut onions here? No. Are you cutting onions in here? Alrighty. Ah. That's really beautiful, actually. He did, or we had a very awkward but heartfelt man hug. Then we laughed. They will be coming to say goodbye with us. After talking to my accountant and my lawyer, I was told that I could not have transferred him the value of the RESP. I have decided, after talking to my wife, that we are going to give him enough money to cover one year of tuition. Even after my trip, we will have money left over. I'm trying to do some good with it. I also said that he could call us any time he needed, since he would be attending school close to us. So funny, he got accepted here, and my son was accepted there. I want to thank everyone who shared their condolences with me. I want to especially thank everyone that helped me plan my visit to Belgium. I know we won't see each other, but you were invaluable. I don't think I'll have much to say after this. Maybe I'll post an update after the trip. Wow. God damn. God damn. Uh, and literally, there's no other update besides that. But this guy sounds like a really good dude. That could not have ended better, if you want my personal opinion. I, I definitely agree. Um, It sounds like he was like, listen... Well, so it sounds like he wouldn't have even been able to transfer the money to him anyway. Right. So, and honestly, giving paying for a year of, of university for him was so far beyond what he needed to do that that's really right. Like that's he really didn't awesome. have he didn't have to do that, but he did. And I know from experience that like the people that you game with end up being some of your most invaluable friends. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I'm not an online gamer personally, but I have heard story after story after story of people who met, like, in online games or chat rooms or whatever, and they're like, yeah, we met playing Call of Duty 15 years ago, and he was my best man at my wedding. It was the first and only time we've ever been face-to-face. Like, it's just, it's insane. Mm -hmm. So the fact that they were gaming buddies and stepbrothers, like, that's... That's got to be a hell of a loss. So it's nice that he at least has two people that he can go to that he's not related to, but that that OP is like, hey, our doors are open. You can call us anytime. So, I mean, I guess to answer the, the, the question, am I the asshole? No. OP, you are the farthest thing from an asshole. Literally you are the salt of the earth. Saint. Literally the salt of the earth. Like, goddamn, I don't think I've ever done a Reddit episode or an episode where a story has actually made me cry. The one about the the aunt who was trying to fight for custody of her kid, of her niece and nephew kind of got me a little bit, but. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. But, yeah, I guess I think that's all I had for Am I the Asshole? 
Uh, overall, what did you what did you think of the stories? What did you uh, did you did you enjoy this? Did you enjoy your time here? Always. All right. Well, uh, if you enjoyed your time here, please exit to the left. There's a gift shop there, and uh, please take a commemorative photo on the way out. A commemorative photo. <laughs> But uh, I guess with that being said, we got a, you know, next week will be a new subreddit to read. So uh, prepare your, prepare your buttholes for that. But until then, I've been Cameron. I've been Kate. Drink your water, do positive things out there. And as always, nerd out. <laughs>